Hello, this is Tina and I am the Painted Witch. And today I am excited to share with you today that my newest art journal, Love the Life You Live, is now available in my website. So yes, as I speak right now, it is now listed in my website. So I wanted to do this little flip through video with you to share with you the whole journal that is now complete. Um, so you can see what it is, what's in, you know, what's inside of it and um, everything that I've added to it. So just to start, this is the cover. It comes with a clothes pin uh, clasp here that you can keep and use on the cover like this. Um, if you want to keep it closed or you can use it on the inside of the book. It has a little cute little pom-pom. There's a button on the spine along with some beads. There's a little tiny birdie birdie charm there and some more beads and of course a little bell so let's dig in so inside the cover I did some chalkboard paint so you can use some jelly pen or acrylic pen and um, do some note taking if you want So as with all my art journals, this journal um, is no different. It contains a variety of uh, journal pages that you can use um, and, and spark your creativity, motivate you to try new things, especially if it's a paper medium that you haven't used before. Um, so these are obviously book pages. There's some um, scraps of paper uh, craft, paper bag, um, paper bag scraps is what I'm trying to say. Um, and also little bits of collage. Some more pages here. Here's a collage that I started and you can continue on with it or you can leave it as is. There's a little bit of fabric swatch there as well. Um, and, or you can, you can completely cover over it and, and do something different if you'd like. So a lot of the pages uh, or papers that I use in my art journals are um, from a variety of different sources. I do scour around in a lot of thrift stores and antique markets um, looking for old books and patterns and, um, you know, those old tissue paper patterns that, that we used to, or for my, for my, <laughs> for my age, it was, it was, uh, they were around when I was a kid. So, <laughs> um, but maybe for you, maybe it was your grandmother that had them or your great grandmother that had them. Um, but either way, I scour around everywhere and I also just use what I have. I recycle a lot of things. Um, here's some drywall tape to use as texture. Um, so yes, old and new is a combination of the materials that I use in my art journals. Choose happy. Doesn't she look happy? <laughs> I also have deli paper, tracing paper a lot of the time in um, my my journals that I make. This is a paper bag pop uh, pocket and inside of it it also has a bunch of yarns and um, collage papers as well just tucked inside for you to use in your in the journal. These pages themselves have been hand sewn using wax thread. Um, so that's there. And then I've also machine sewn a lot of the pages in here um, just to add different elements to it as well, just like what you see here. Some pages have been stamped, some pages have been left blank so that you can just start fresh on a clean slate and do what you want with it. Some pages are stapled. Some line papers. This is um, old ledger paper from a, a ledger book that I found in an antique market. There's a little bit of the pattern paper uh, that I found in an antique market that is now I glued on to this ledger paper. Some note paper. I think this is deli paper. Some more of that shopping bag. An envelope here that you that's been coffee stained, and um, 
you can tuck little things in there, little notes to yourself, little poems, little quotes, anything you want, other little um, additional little bits of collage papers if you wanted to that you've created yourself. This is a page from an old book I got at an antique, or no, it was a thrift store. Um, there you go. And the front and back cover have both also been sewn by machine all the way around, just to add that little different um, detail to it. And then of course you've got the yarns sticking out the top and the bottom. So there you have it. This is the Love the Life You Live art journal. And like I said, it is now available on my website. And my website is thepaintedwitchstudio.com. I hope you have a fabulous day. Take care.